Your target is Dame Barbara Elizabeth Keating, a New Zealand tycoon and the former Minister of Trade and Foreign Affairs. She was forced to resign from her position when a charity she represented was accused of funneling donations towards the Dame's own offshore portfolio. Dame Barbara drew on contacts in the tabloids to shift the blame onto the charity's director, Jacqueline Vicker, destroying her reputation and ensuring that Vicker's death shortly thereafter was perceived as a suicide. Dame Barbara is now embarking on a PR tour to restore her standing, and we believe she's working with a body double in order to protect herself at public events. Needless to say, the contract only applies to the real Dame Barbara. Good luck, 47. Yo, what's up, guys? My name is Mr. Freeze 2244, and welcome to the Politician Elusive Target for Year 3. This takes place in Hawke's Bay. This is originally a Hitman 2 map now ward of assassination map so i'm going to show you two methods for this one it's going to be the definitive walkthrough i originally did this guide a couple of years ago but i didn't have commentary on it i was just going to re-upload the same video but i wanted to add commentary on it and just give it a little bit of a refresh so i'm going to show you two methods one of them is going to be our default loadout the second method is going to be a little bit fun and hopefully you can follow along with me so for the default loadout we're going to start in the hut it's the only start location we can start from anyway Bring along the standard ICA-19 pistol, bring along the fiber wire and the coin, but the pistol is all we're really going to need. As long as it's suppressed, you're good to go. But well, even if it's a loud pistol, it doesn't really matter. You just need a pistol for this. And if you didn't know how to work this out before, after watching this guide, you'll be thinking this is probably the easiest elusive target you'll ever complete, purely because there's very little that can go wrong, and it's just so simple and straightforward. So both of these guides are going to be in a silent assassin suit only as well. So there's that going for it as well. But once you get over to the section, it's pretty much a straight run. I'm going to stay crouched in the bushes every now and then, so if anyone slightly sees you, just dip into the bushes, or the grass, or whatever this is. Once you get over to the section here, use your instinct, and you'll see that gas heater there highlighted on your instinct. Shoot it once, and it will just disappear from your instinct. After a couple of minutes, she, the target is going to come outside. After she's been fiddling around on her phone, she's going to smoke a cigarette, you get an accident kill. Also, a body's going to be well hidden in the grass there as well. But if you didn't know already, accident kills don't uh, ruin your silent assassin rating. But if you didn't want to stay there and watch that happening, you could have waited at the boat if you wanted to. I decided to just show you to see what exactly what was happening, because a lot of the time I'd do something and people wouldn't understand what, was, what the reason for that was, and that's why I showed you right there. But uh, just seeing it and watching it happen does make ex escaping a little bit more difficult. Just make sure you stay out of everyone's line of sight. Make sure you're diving into the grass whenever you possibly can. And getting over to the exit as quick as you possibly can as well. So yeah, um, the target always comes outside around about the three minute mark. She will be on the phone for a little while. And then she'll smoke a cigarette next to that uh, gas heater. And because we created a leak, obviously it created an explosion. And it's an accident kill because it's an environmental kill. And because it's an accident kill, again, like I said, it's no longer an... Uh, it's not going to spoil your silent assassin rating, even if that body is found. Works the same way with poison kills as well. Because I get it all the time. If I don't mention it, people will always mention it and say, how come How come that silent assassin when the body was found? I keep telling you. Because it's an accident kill or a poison kill, it doesn't count. But once we get to our uh, boat, we've got an easy silent assassin suit only there for the politician. That's method one, anyway. Method two is a little bit more fun. So for method two, we're going to bring along the IC remote micro taser. Alternatively, you can bring a lethal syringe. Bring an emetic gas grenade. Alternatively, you can bring a gas device. So either one of those is fine. So from the very start, we are going to head straight to the beach house. Pretty much the straight run from where we did from method one. So straight run there. However, you can't dawdle. You have to be quite quick to get to the house because you need to, something to happen. There's going to be a guard on the balcony just above you right there on the house and just around the corner is the guard I'm, I'm talking about you need to make sure he sees you for about 90% of the notification bar the detection bar and then you break that line of sight so it's the peekaboo method so you use it break the line of sight after about 90% what's going to happen then he's going to come outside to investigate what you saw and that allows you to come up here onto the, the pipe and climb up on the balcony 
That's because we always only a 90% detection rather than a 100% detection. It didn't spoil our silent assassin, which is what exactly what we want. If you've got a standard grenade over this regular gas grenade that I've got, what you need to do is make sure you arc it a little bit shorter, like aim it around where the couch is, so it has time to bounce, then sh then set off. Just keep that in mind because this is an impact uh, emitted gas grenade. You need to make sure that both the target and the guard are caught in that uh, gas cloud as well. And when everyone's back is to you downstairs, you can run down the stairs into this bathroom. This is your target here. What we're going to do at this point, if you didn't bring a micro, micro taser, just go ahead and surrender. Or, alternatively, just drown her. It's up to you. I went for style points. Uh, I think I did this a couple of years ago. But I went for style points here. Set a trap. Put a micro taser in the puddle of water that we overflowed there. And we set it off. Uh, we are going to wait for this uh, doppelganger and the guard to walk away before we exit though we're going to exit straight out the front door keep in mind there's a camera to your left so make sure you run forward because you don't want to get detected by the camera you can see it there on instinct keep out everyone's line of sight stay in the grass as much as possible and head to the exit and momentarily she's going to finish puking up in that toilet and she's going to walk in that uh, that trap that we've set Again, you could drown her if you wanted to. You could use a syringe. You could even use a fireball wire. It's up to you. I went for more style points at the time. At least it's a cool way of actually taking out the target. But hopefully this is the last time we ever have to do it. Because this target is incredibly boring. And very limited to what, really, what we can really do. Uh, in terms of creativity with this target. It's kind of boring. In my opinion. But again, that is just my opinion. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about this loose target? Is it the easiest one that we've ever had? And uh, if there's any other methods out there that I haven't noticed, let me know what you've done differently to what I've done here. Right here, we're just going to take this product exit and get a confirmation of that silent assassin and we'll wrap up the video. Assassin, politician, done. There we go. It's not the fastest sum in the world, but it doesn't really matter. Only 167 people have played it so far. There we go. Silent Assassin achieved. Suit only both runs as well. Really easy, in my opinion. And that's going to do it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on the video if it helped you out. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And hit the bell notification to be notified of all future, video uh, future videos and live streams. That's the little bell icon right there next to the subscribe button. So click that. Click all notifications for that. And yeah, there you go. So thank you very much for watching. And uh, feel free to become a Patreon or even become a member of the channel. Clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description for all the details of that. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.